The Real Housewives of Johannesburg are officially coming back with a new season this coming winter. That's coming. That's, but uh, you have to do it. The girl's coming and her husband is rich and she's coming. coming. After three years of delays, including that one lost season that was cancelled because of an alleged physical fight among certain cast members, season three has finally been confirmed for a big splash on May 19th. The cast photo has dropped and the girlies are serving golden clam with the money filter and the beautiful gowns and all of that. But while we are excited that the OGs of all South African franchises is finally coming back, the internet is also fuming that only two cast members from season two are returning. Yeah. And no original girls remain on the show. Yeah. I mean. Welcome to the Quench channel. Stay tuned for all the tea on the coming season. Now, if you and you around here, Ape Kappa, we subscribe, we press like, and we leave a good juicy comment. Let's go. Welcome back to the Quench YouTube channel. And remember what we just spoke about. You've got to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is not a drill. Subscribe. And now on to the topic at hand. Welcome back, ladies. The Real Housewives of Johannesburg are finally back on the scene after three years missing in action. Now, I have to admit, I really love the new Housewives franchises that have been popping up. The Real Housewives of Cape Town, The Real Housewives of Durban, of course, those girls are clocking in to work. The Real Housewives from Pretoria, The Real Housewives of Tabeja, I've been checking that out. Uh, the Real Housewives of Boxburg, Real Housewives of Germiston. Everything is popping up and I've just been saying, where are my girls? Bring back my <laughs> girls. <laughs> now I just realized I've been saying April 19th, when it is in fact May 19th on a Friday. At up as eight on one magic, you will let me live. We are in the middle of an energy crisis. <laughs> Speaking of crisis, let's first start with ladies that are no longer part of the show. Uh, beginning with Crystal K, who's been with us since season one. She brought us everything. Okay, the beautiful gowns. She brought us the biggest mansion out of all of them. Old money. She brought us class. She brought us also some of the most iconic scenes on the show i mean crystal was not afraid to be confrontational she did that with madame evodia on season one and they brought us some of the most talked about scenes in the history of the show she continued in season two she had no alliances on the show she was sort of the pariah who would tell anyone any girl to their face exactly what she thought of them she was a blonde bombshell on the show, a pop star, aspiring artist who was always dancing and doing all kinds of really bizarre things that were interesting for the show. So yeah, she'll definitely be dearly missed. One of the most shocking departures from the show definitely has to be Brunette. She was with us as well from season one and she was there on the show in season two now if you check out the posters and the promotional stuff from season two of the show she had been promoted to become the leading lady she was always positioned at the center whereas on season one arguably uh, madame was the leading lady but by season two here brunette became the nini leaks or the kenya moore on real houses of atlanta or if you watch Real Housewives of Potomac, she became the Giselle or the Karen or maybe even the Candace, you know. Um, but so it's shocking. It's shocking that she's no longer with the show. We don't really know why Burnett left the show, whether she was fired or whether she left in her own accord. There's just so much drama behind the scenes. No word on how that worked out in the end, but she's no longer with the show and we are gutted. I know that I am shocked that Brunette is no longer on Real Housewives of Johannesburg. But I think that in as much as Brunette and Crystal K's departures were the most shocking, obviously because they've been with the show since season one, um, the exit of a certain amazing Mbumi, Mrs. Mobs. Whew. 
God, where do I start? She is one of the most iconic housewives in the country. Okay, um, there, I said it. She has a lot of money, a lot of sass, a lot of style. I think she came on on season two following uh, Madame's departure and then she just took the show on a completely new direction. She was on her feet. She gave us all the shade. Her confessionals were on fire. Her wardrobe, her mansions, her cars, her lifestyle, her everything. Yup, 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 yup. Yes, this man, Yara. We've lost a lot of star power on this here show. You hear me? Yassi. But I still think there's a lot to look forward to on season three of The Real Housewives of Johannesburg. Of course, Litabo Lejoy and Lebo Jojo Mukwena are coming back for their second season on the show. They arrived on season two and they gave us everything that we needed. They gave us the fashions, they gave us the lifestyle, honey. They gave us the confessionals, the quotables, the drama. They gave us everything that we needed and some. I'm so excited to see what they are bringing on season three. Now, where we left off, Lebo was still married to Johannesburg businessman, uh, Lebo Okunguluza. Uh, they've since been divorced, so it will be interesting to see her navigate her life as a singleton, if she is indeed still single. And of course, um, Netabo has been doing so well outside of the show. She's been getting that coin, that emceeing, and her celebrity status has certainly gone up a notch. I'm also looking forward to the new ladies. Let's see, Mama Skoka, Marely Bentley, Nicole Watson, and Tobegile Mjalos. And I'm sure the girls are gonna come and eat because they have to. Okay, we are tuning all the way in on May 19th. Now, I'm interested in hearing what do you guys think. Let us know in the comments, like, subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for the next Quench Drop.